Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at question 207, course schedule. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by keeping a track of um, all of the courses um, that you as a given course as a prereq. Uh, so when I say prereq, I mean prerequisite. And the number of courses um, that are needed as prerequisites for a course. So let's get started. Um, we need a hash map. Uh, we don't necessarily need a hash map, person. we could use other data structures as well, but let's just go with this. Set of integer uh, prereq is equal to new hash set. No, in hash map, sorry, yeah. And the other thing you need is int uh, pre, pre, just let's just call it prerequisite count is equal to new int, and then you have number of courses. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, so after that, you need to iterate through this list, all right? So for int, um, let's just call it p in prerequisites. Let's uh, extract both of the courses. So int um, course is equal to p of zero and int uh, pre course is equal to p of one. Right? And you need to do two things. First, uh, you need to do is pre of course. Plus, plus. So basically what you're saying is that, hey, for this particular course, there is one prerequisite needed, so we're adding one. And then you get this um, get this map. But first, let's check if there's uh, existing values. If uh, prerequisite contains, so if it doesn't contain the course that we care about, contains key, pre-course. So if it doesn't exist, we add a new hash uh, hash set. So dot put um, pre-course new hash set. Okay, all right. And then uh, we actually put that in the course. So it's prerequisites dot get pre-course um dot add course awesome so once these two data structures um are ready with the data that we care about it's pretty easy to go from there the the thing you need is like a queue um integer queue is equal to new link list right um, and we'll keep iterating through the loop. But while, so what are we adding to Q, right? So what we're adding to the Q is uh, the number of courses that have zero prerequisites. So let's do that. Courses I++. So basically if pre of I, if it is equal to zero, as in, this given course doesn't need any prerequisites at all. So you can add that to the queue. Q.offer is equal to one, right? And then after, once uh, that has been populated, um, you do while queue is not empty. Uh, what are you, what are we going to do here? We're going to do int uh, current is equal to q dot pop, right? And then what you're going to do is, um, so you're taking this course. So basically, when you're popping something out, out of the queue, that means you're taking that course. And then if you're taking that course, that means all of the other courses that need the current course as a prerequisite, you can reduce the number of prereqs, right? So by at least by one. So how, how we can do that? So it's like a for loop. So for int um, i in 
prereqs.get current. So basically, you're iterating through all of the courses that need this particular course as a prereq, and then you just subtract the number, right? So prereq of i is minus minus. So hey, I've taken one prereq that I need, so the number of prereqs should go down by one. And then if prereq of i is equal to zero, that means, hey, I don't need any more prereqs for this course, so I can take it, so you add that to the queue. And then you keep doing this. Right, and in the end, you just need to check whether all of the courses have zero number of prereqs, as in like they've been taken. Um, so if they've been taken, they don't need, don't need any prereqs. And how do we check that? So all zeros of uh, pre, I think, right? And then we can have a method for this. It's just Boolean, um, all zeros. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. Um, and then int count, or it can be like a small method, right? So for in i in a, right? If i is not equal to zero, you return false. Else you return true. Yeah, so basically what this method is doing is that it's iterating through the array that keeps a track of the number of prereqs that a course needs. So if it is not equal to zero, that means that course couldn't have been taken. Therefore, it's not possible to actually finish it. Um, awesome. Let's try compiling this and see if this works. Uh, of course. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, it's like four. Oh, it's cool. Cannot invoke. Oh, right. Um, so basically, this needs to be wrapped. So if uh, pre uh, rex dot contains contains key current. So basically, um, not all of the courses will have prereqs, right? So for example, um, uh, and if there are no prereqs at all, that means we haven't added them to, um, to the hash map at all. That's the reason why you need this uh, condition. We can avoid this condition if we uh, iterate through all of the courses from zero to one and add like an empty hash, hash set. But since we didn't really do that, we need to add this condition where you're just checking, hey, like, does this exist in the hash map? That means, hey, um, does a given course actually have any prereqs at all? Or is it used as a prereq for other courses? Awesome. So the first two test cases pass. Everything else passes as well. Let's talk about the space and the time complexity. Um, the time complexity is often since you're iterating through all of the course pairs. Um, yeah, and then the space complexity is of n as well, since you are using a hash map to store all of them and also uh, like the number of prereqs needed. Awesome. Uh, if you have any questions about this problem, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I like the video. I would really appreciate that. It definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos. Um, thanks so much. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.